So the writing on the wall paints the picture that Mullen Automotive is about to have another reverse stock split. Hi again everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. So obviously we've had the Mullen shareholder meeting and proposal for, i.e. can Mullen enact, enact another reverse stock split between 1 to 10 and 1 to 100 uh, was approved. Uh, now, we were talking about this yesterday. Um, so obviously there is the issue that the stock is still below the $1 mark. And while there was has been no kind of defined statement to say whether or not uh, Marlon Automotive did in fact regain compliance with the NASDAQ back in May. Um, it sort of sounds increasingly like that no they haven't and which means that they have a deadline of September 6 to regain that compliance. Uh, now I don't know it's it's a tough one to to gauge because it means that you know obviously the stock uh, it needs to get back above a dollar anyway. Uh, it's floating around the 14 cent mark at the moment uh, after a bit of a sort of choppy day. Now, the journey there is an interesting one because if the stock is to do another reverse stock split of more than one for 10, it means that in the past two years, the stock has actually split by the effectiveness of uh, one to 250, which means that it, the company would not be allowed to apply for any NASDAQ extensions um, you know, if they do get another delisting threat. And, you know, that's a bit of a problem for the company. So, you know, when you think about it, like, you know, shareholders are obviously wanting uh, less of a reverse stock split um, if possible. But, you know, if they do a 10 for one reverse stock split tomorrow, that's only going to take the stock price to $1.40. And, you know, it won't take long for people to jump on that and, you know, bring it back below the dollar, which might mean the reverse stock split would actually fail in its intention of, you know, trying to get the stock to regain compliance uh, of staying above the $1 mark for 10 to possibly even as many as 20 consecutive days, depending on what the NASDAQ wants to do, if this does indeed play out. So really, um, you know, while, you know, people might want that, I think the reality is that if Mullen does enact another reverse stock split, they're probably going to have to go even bigger. Um, I don't know whether they'll go the full one for 100, uh, but by going um, even bigger, it just creates that much bigger of a buffer between uh, their share price and the $1 mark. Um, and the other thing it does is it actually reduces the liquidity in the stock, which means it won't be as subjected to um, the crazy price swings that um, you know it obviously has had in the past. Now, a company that's obviously gone down this route in the past before, which I've used to cover quite extensively on here, was Exceller Technologies. Um, they've had two reverse stock splits in the last you know, year and basically their, their stock kept falling below the 10 cent mark and you know for the since they did their last reverse stock split about the same time as Mullen Automotive in May the stock has actually been quite stable in its stock price because there's basically no liquidity in the company uh, also the fact the company has actually gone into a bit of a better trajectory so there is actually a bit of logic for Marlin Automotive to go quite big in the reverse stock split if they do indeed have to initiate one sooner or later um, Going for one for 10, I don't think they're going to be able to keep the stock price above a dollar at this point. And I think that means, you know, like the whole exercise will be a fail and they'll have to do it again. And they will then therefore fall below the one. They would have reversed stock split more than the equivalent of one for 250 within a two year period anyway. So I think they really are going to have to go quite big with a reverse stock split if that's the path that we see. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we're seeing something as a minimum of one for 25. Um, I don't think they'll go the whole one for 100, but I, I'm not expecting them to do a um, smaller reverse stock split in the end. I'm hopefully going to be wrong, but that's just the way I feel about these things. Uh, so obviously, like I was saying before, if it's if they go quite high, that will like shore up or it will block up the liquidity in the stock, and that um, might actually return a bit of stability to the stock. And hopefully, it's enough to ride out a two-year period, and therefore, you know this chapter is behind us with the stock price but you know it's small and automotive we never really know what's going to happen um anyway uh share your thoughts on what you think is happening do you think uh this reverse stock split is going to come like pretty soon do you think it's and how big do you think it's going to be um also where do you see mullen finishing the week um do you, are we down for a, are we in for a down day on friday um because of this news or do you think it's going to be uh you know just another kind of unpredictable day. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, until next time, everyone, may the markets trade in your favour. Cheers.